First, we will create a new git repository. For that, there is command git init. And let's create a new folder, and let's do that on the desktop. And afterwards, we will initialize git inside of that new folder. Let's go to the terminal, and I'll cd to the desktop, like that. And here, let's create a new directory using command make directory, shortly mkdir, and let's name directory, for example, git dash repository, like that. Now let's cd to git repository. If I list files and folders here, I'll see that this folder is empty. And now let's initialize git inside of this new folder, git repository. And for that, let's type command git init. And I see that the empty git repository was just initialized in this folder. And I see complete path to git repository. And also I see here new subfolder called .git. And this is actually hidden folder. And if I list files and folders like that, I will not see it here. But if I add option dash A, I'll see that there is hidden folder .git. And this is actually git repository, where git stores all its files. For example, it will store every version of every file in your working directory. Working directory in our example is git repository. Alright, also accept that during initialization of git in the git repository folder, I see such hint, using master as a name for the initial branch. All work in git is done in branches. And uh, when you initialize new repository, new branch is created. And as you see here, new branch was created with name master. But now there is black leaves matter trend that tells that the master word should not be used anywhere. And it's better to rename master branch to main branch. And actually, when you create new repository directly at GitHub, for example, then it will be created with default branch main, not master. That's why I suggest to immediately rename master branch to main in order to stay in trend. So, if you need to rename branch to another name, you could use this command that we see here in this hint. Let's do that. git branch dash m and here will be name we want to use for current branch and it is main like that. Let's press enter and now branch master was renamed to main. You could always check list of the branches that exist in your current git repository by entering command git branch like this. And at the moment we actually don't see any branches here on the list because we didn't commit any changes. We will get back to this command a bit later and check list of the branches in one of the next lectures. For now, that's it. We initialized new empty git repository in the folder git repository. And this folder in terms of git is called working directory. Repository is this hidden .git folder that was created by git automatically inside of our working directory, git repository. But very often, specific project that is under git control is called git repository. That's why I decided to name this new folder git repository.